Sorns to Squeeze Desktop 11 is the latest in our long history of desktop compression tools. In this video, we want to show you some of the new features and improvements designed to simplify and enhance your workflow. To help support the growing number of camera and mobile devices that have the option to export video out as individual frames in the form of a sequence of image files, Squeeze 11 provides the ability to import sequenced image files in the form of JPEG or TIFF files. The new Source File Info dialog gives you more information on your source file and how Squeeze is reading it, what reader is being used, frame size, audio sample rate, and number of channels, but this feature also gives you the control to change how Squeeze thinks about some of the aspects of your source file, such as the aspect ratio, frame rate, and color space. In Squeeze 11, we have implemented the ability for you to export your output file at a frame rate that is greater than your source frame rate. This is done by strategically duplicating frames, allowing you to meet your file requirements while maintaining the quality of your video. Squeeze 11 has also implemented support for .mov source files that contain multiple audio tracks, and allows you to encode those tracks when exporting to MOV or MP4 output. The most common workflow requested with this feature is the multi-language track support, but it can be used for other scenarios as well. Squeeze 10 first introduced MXF output files and used the op atom operational pattern, designed to address the specific needs of an NLE. Squeeze 11 has added support for exporting MXF with an additional operating pattern, the OP1A operational pattern. This operational pattern may include multiple tracks of audio and video that are merged into one single file. OP1A files can be exported by creating an MXF preset and selecting one of the three XDCAM format constraints. Another new feature is the high bit depth dithering filter. Dithering is required when you are working with high bit depth color, such as 10-bit color, and exporting as 8-bit color. Dithering will automatically smooth over the color variations and banding that occurs during the color conversion process, resulting in a great looking output file. You'll find three different dithering methods to solve your dithering needs, truncate, triangular, and Bayer ordered. All of these dithering methods do a great job and work fast. The choice often comes down to personal preference for your individual job. There's also a new text watermark filter that adds a text watermark overlay on your video. As 4K and UHD video becomes more and more common in our everyday workflows, we find increasing importance for 64-bit processing and system memory usage. In Squeeze 11, we have expanded our 64-bit support to help your system handle the increased memory needs for processing content of these new frame sizes and data rates. 64-bit encoding will slow down the encode, so it should only be used when necessary. But when you're doing the heavy lifting with these 4K and UHD content, 64-bit is the only way to go. At Sorensen Media, we always strive to provide our customers with the latest and greatest encoding technology. Squeeze Desktop 11 is no different. We have updated the codecs that you already know and love to bring you faster and more efficient coding. These are just a few of the significant enhancements available in Squeeze 11. As you can see, the most powerful, professional video encoder available today.